But society does frown upon kids dropping out of high school. However, there has not yet been a norm established where high school graduates are required or should go to college. After all, there are perfectly viable options for high school graduates, such as joining the military, joining the workforce, or getting vocational training. So when we see high school graduates or college freshmen on a campus, we can safely assume that they've made a choice to be there. It is through this lens that I view my mine and students' uh, learning experience. The metaphor that underlies my teaching philosophy is that of shopping. And I employ it in all my classes, both large and small. As consumers, when we shop, we consider different options and then we choose. So by the time students get to their university, they've already made one very important decision, and that is to pursue higher education. As the merchant, the educational institution is responsible for providing the goods, including the instruction provided by its faculty. So I tell my students, my instruction is what you pay for, and it is your right to use it as you see fit. And I tell them, it's sort of like buying a treadmill around New Year's when you swear you're going to lose those last five pounds. Do you actually use the treadmill, or does it become a clothes tree after a few weeks? By placing responsibility in students' hands, my aim is to promote students' sense of ownership over their education and the tremendous potential they have for dictating the course of their futures. In the short run, as university students, in the long run, as the nurses, accountants, chemists, philosophers that they want to become, ultimately, as the productive and contributing members of society that they absolutely can be. In this respect, and in the same spirit of choice and responsibility, I do not impose on students my version of how I think they should use their class experience. Instead, I simply offer them my commitment to helping them figure out how to use my class on their path to wherever it is that they want to go. As the merchant, I have responsibilities too. I have to be worth what students paid for. I have to be a good teacher, even a very good teacher, an excellent one. I have to be engaging, accessible, interesting, fair, patient, I could go on. And not just with one group. My instruction has to be able to reach widely diverse groups. For example, by incorporating diversity topics into my instruction and by being respected, respectful of different students' cultures. I have to be on top of the teaching literature about theory and strategies for effective instruction. In short, it's my job to provide students with an environment that optimizes their learning experience.